Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Our ceremony will begin in five minutes, so I invite you to find a seat if you haven't already done so. Now, before we begin this joyous ceremony, let me remind you to silence your mobile devices and be courteous to those around you by refraining from talking or leaving your seat during the ceremony. We have hired a photographer to capture the moment your graduate receives his or her degree for you, so please do not approach the stage during the ceremony. Now, during the presentation of graduates, we will encourage you to express your pride by applauding and cheering, but please refrain from using any air horns. In the event of fire or other emergency, you're asked to proceed in an orderly fashion to the nearest exit. Exits are identified by illuminated exit signs, and please note that the exits are located in both the southeast and southwest corners of the gym, as well as the main entrance of the gymnasium. Please proceed to the nearest outside exit upon leaving the gym, and we thank you for your cooperation. And we'll start our ceremony in a few minutes.
Please stand for the national anthem. You may be seated. Welcome to this momentous occasion, graduates, and thank you to the guests that have joined us this evening. I am Provost Greg Ferencheck, and I'm delighted to congratulate the class of 2023 on behalf of the faculty of Central Ohio Technical College. Graduates, through your perseverance and dedication, you have arrived at the culmination of your education experience, graduation. You have earned the right to be incredibly proud of yourself and your achievement. Today, it is all about you and what you have achieved here at Central Ohio Technical College. For over 50 years, Central Ohio Technical College has been a place where students could redefine their lives. Since we first opened our doors, more than 16,000 students have made the transition to alumni. Tonight, that number rises yet again with you. When the time comes to turn your tassel, feel confident in yourself and carry that confidence into the world. The faculty and I applaud your success. Congratulations, graduates. I now welcome the president of Central Ohio Technical College, Dr. John Berry. Thank you and good evening. The faculty, candidates, and guests of Central Ohio Technical College are assembled. I now proclaim the spring 2023 commencement ceremony to be in session. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the members of the Central Ohio Technical College Board of Trustees who are here with us this evening. Trustees are appointed by the governor of the state of Ohio and by local school boards. As I call your name, please remain standing for recognition. Robert A. Montagny's Chair, Paul M. Thompson, Vice Chair, J. Andrew Crawford, Andrew P. Guansel, Marion M. Sutton, and Rhoda S. Warnock. Thank you all for your service. We also have members of the President's Cabinet on stage. As I call your name, please remain standing for recognition. Brian Bomer, Superintendent of Facilities and Support Services. Dr. David Brillhart, Vice President for Business and Finance. Dr. John Davenport, Dean of Students. Dr. Greg Ferencheck, Provost. Dr. Brianna Johnson, Chief Diversity Officer. Dr. Sinneth Kumar, Director of Marketing and Public Relations. Kim Mano, Director of Advancement. And Dr. Jacqueline Perrell, Vice President and Chief of Staff. Thank you very much for your service. Lastly, on stage, we recognize a very special individual. Professor Scott Wilson is starting his 44th year as a faculty member at COTC. He also reminds me to tell you that he started when he was eight. <laughs> as our senior most faculty member, Scott has the honor to serve as the mace bearer 
The College Mace is a symbol of the Office of the President and represents each of our four campuses. The Mace is used to lead the academic procession at commencement and other ceremonial occasions. Scott, would you please stand for recognition? Now it is my pleasure to call on Mr. Rob Montagnes, Chair of the Central Ohio Technical College Board of Trustees to offer comments on behalf of the board. Thank you, Dr. Berry. Good evening, graduates. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I am pleased to offer our sincere congratulations on this very special occasion. I clearly understand that the past couple of years have provided us with some challenges and difficulty. I'm president of the local hospital. Many of you are in clinical services, but together we persevered you individually persevered and you are here this evening celebrating a significant accomplishment. Each of you had a choice as to where you would go to college. And I am biased, but I think you made a tremendous choice in choosing COTC and we are grateful for that. And we've been honored to watch you transition from prospective student to college graduate here this evening. Later, you're going to hear from one of our community leaders, Brittany. This leader happens to be a COTC graduate as well. She's accomplished a lot already and continues to grow in her professional career in our community. It's really gratifying to hear her stories and to see all of the COTC alumni that impact our community each and every day. Just sort of off the script, I had the opportunity to host the COTC administrative team over at Licking Memorial Hospital late last week. And we gave them a tour of the facility. And I was so proud as a hospital president and as a COTC board member because every department seemed like every person that participated in that interview, and it was not planned, was a COTC alum and had come through these very chairs you're sitting. That includes law enforcement, nursing, radiology, administration, surgical technicians. Over and over again, our hospital is able to provide the care it does because of the outstanding students that COTC is able to provide for our community. So once again, that was very special to me to see. Any of you who are in clinical services that still need a job, see me afterwards. I am happy to accept applications. All kidding aside, I do wish you well, whatever career you have chosen. And congratulations, enjoy this night. It is truly a significant moment in your life. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Montagnes. We did not know you were going to recruit here, but that's okay, that's all right. Uh, we do some things a little bit differently at our commencements. Uh, we do not ask for a speaker to come in and talk to you for about a half an hour. We ask for representatives from both your graduating class and then someone who has actually been in your seat who is an alumni of distinction. So we're gonna start with your class representative and we, it is my pleasure to now introduce our first speaker. Representing your graduating class is Maddox Curlis. Maddox has completed his associate's degree in electrical engineering, and his family is so excited to clap for him, in electrical engineering technology. Maddox, would you please join me on stage? Thanks, Dr. Barry. Good afternoon, fellow graduates, faculty members, family, and friends. It is an honor to stand before you all today as we celebrate collectively our hard work of the past few years. My name is Maddox Curlis, and I am proud to say that I am a graduate of Central Ohio Technical College with a major in electrical engineering technology. I was asked to speak today to give insight into my experience at, the time, at my time at Central Ohio Technical College. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of my teachers, specifically Professor Kahn, Professor Gore Canyon, my family and friends, and my beloved partner Nazarin. Without the love and support that surrounds me or any of us, 
this all would not be possible. Today marks the end of a journey that has been both challenging and rewarding. We have endured long hours of study, countless sleepless nights, and sacrificed much of our personal time to get to this point. But we have persevered and are here today, ready to take on the world with our newfound knowledge and skills. I know that each and every one of us has a unique story to tell about how we got here. And now is a good time to acknowledge the hard work and dedication that has brought us to this moment. We are all different, but we have a common goal. We want to use our education to make a difference in the world. I know that each and every one of us, oh, sorry. <laughs> I enrolled in COTC straight out of high school. I was not sure what I wanted to pursue or where I wanted to be at the end of my degree. I quickly found a direction under the guidance of my professors and was placed in a situation where I was able to learn a lot about myself. Through constantly being tested and pushed into difficult assignments, I was able to find a great passion for my program and my future career. Fast forward a year, and I was already off and into a very insightful and fulfilling internship with Lincoln Electric. This internship pushed me into a fast-paced environment. Things moved quickly, and I had a lot to learn. But from the skills I learned in my classes, I felt prepared. I picked up things quickly, and in a blink of an eye, I was out in the field using the knowledge I had acquired from my program. Though things were not always easy, I felt that I was set up to succeed. I had strong backing from both my peers and from faculty. I knew that I always had the support and resources needed to reach the next step of my journey. As we all leave this chapter of our life behind and embark on a new journey, I want to share with you some lessons I learned while attending COTC. Remember that life is unpredictable, and sometimes it may not go according to plan, but it is important to stay resilient and adaptable in the face of adversity. Embrace change, and don't be afraid to take risks. It's okay to fail, as long as you learn from your mistakes and keep moving forward. With hard work, dedication, and a positive attitude, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. It has been a pleasure to get up here and speak to everyone today. Just know that we don't only leave here as graduates of COTC, but we also leave as lifelong peers, friends, and supporters of one another. Let us embrace the challenges that lie ahead and continue to push ourselves to be the best we can be. Congratulations to the class of 2023 and I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Have a great time celebrating tonight. Thank you, Maddox. That was a job well done. It is not easy to get up here in front of all of you and speak as eloquently as you did. Congratulations, my friend. Our next speaker is not only a COTC graduate, but also one of our COTC 50 notable alumni recognized in honor of the college's 50th anniversary. She has excelled professionally and made a significant impact in our community. Please welcome the Vice President of Public Affairs and Workforce Development with Monty Christopher Holdings, Ms. Brittany Meisner. Good evening. I think you're going to notice some common themes in the two um, comments that you just, you're going to hear. And I don't think that that's a coincidence with both of our experiences, but it is a true honor to have the opportunity to speak to you on such an important day along your journey. In 2019, I had the privilege of sharing my story to that graduating class. And when I was asked to deliver the commencement speech again, I thought, what do I have to share that would be meaningful to a crowd of people with such different backgrounds, experiences, interests, and goals? The only word that kept coming to mind is opportunity. So tonight I want to talk to you about taking advantage of the vast opportunities that you have in front of you now. I look back at the success I have experienced and that didn't come without hard work, failure, uncertainty, or risk. I truly believe that my experience at Central Ohio Technical College positioned me to take advantage of the opportunities that I was presented with. With opportunity came responsibility. You have to put in the effort, you have to dedicate time. Some of you may just be starting your adult lives, 
Other might be raising families, working full time. Others might be embarking on a second career. All of our journeys look different, but how do we make the most of it? How do we ensure a path to success? We are in a time of vast opportunity, opportunity that our parents and grandparents didn't experience. The development and expansion in our local economy is truly like nothing the state has ever seen. You just finished your degree in a time of unprecedented opportunity. What's next? Every experience, position, relationship, and connection will lead you to opportunity. I look back at when I graduated from COTC and my path looks completely different than what I expected. And that is because I took advantage of every opportunity and I let each experience and relationship in my life lead me to where I am today. At the young age of 23, I climbed the ladder and managed 29 recruiting offices across Ohio, which led me to the position in human resources, which then led me to the Licking County Chamber of Commerce, where I spent almost seven years and became the vice president. During that time, I figured out exactly who I am. I connected with my passions. I became confident in the skills I had to offer. It was a life-changing experience for me. My time, at, um, my time at the chamber then led me to my current position in senior leadership at a private company based here in Licking County. And all of that while I was doing my most important role as wife and mother. My path might not sound the least bit interesting to you. It might not reflect any of the goals that you have for yourself, and that is completely okay. The point is that wherever your path leads, where, whatever your path to success looks like, the only way to get there is by leveraging opportunity. And opportunity comes through experiences, relationships, and work. I wanna share with you my top 10 things that I've learned along my journey when I was really thinking about what I'd say to you today. How you implement these will look different than the, next, the person next to you. We're not designed to be just like the person next to us. I truly believe that we are all uniquely and wonderfully made. Our journeys will look different, our paths will never be the same, but they can be an experience of a lifetime. First, work hard. Laziness gets you nowhere. You probably have figured that out so far. Learn how to prioritize. There's gonna be a lot of things thrown at you at different stages in your career, but you have to determine what's important to you. Practice gratitude daily. It's a game changer. Attitude is everything. Do not burn bridges. You will meet that person again, I promise you. <laughs> be willing to take risk. Be brave. Joyfully serve your community. You do, not know in, you do not know everything. Be teachable. Be kind to others. That includes yourself. Have goals, but be flexible. Failure is okay and inevitable. My hope for each and every person here is that you embark on the opportunities in front of you, that you never underestimate your abilities, accept that we all make mistakes and that understand that there is no such thing as reward without risk. I hope that you find the most beautiful version of your life. Be ready when opportunity comes your way. Congratulations to all of you and thank you for letting me be a small part of your big day. Thank you, Brittany. Certainly some sage words of advice. You and Maddox and all the graduates seated in front of me are an inspiration to the faculty and staff of Central Ohio Technical College, your friends, family, and all future students and graduates of the college. Before the diplomas are handed out, I want to just briefly recognize a few caring and dedicated people who have supported you along your way. One of the first groups I'm gonna recognize is something brand new to COTC. We're always trying to evolve, we're always trying to develop and meet the needs of our community. So in autumn of 2023, CLTC launched a partnership with our friends and colleagues at CTEC to provide an expanded functional dental auxiliary, often known as EFTA, certificate program. This certificate provides additional training and certification for dental assistance in the art of restoration and restorative dentistry. 12 students were admitted into this inaugural cohort and 12 students successfully completed the program. 
Tonight, we'd like to recognize this cohort and their instructors that are here this evening. Will the following CTEC faculty in this program please stand for recognition? Tara Rhodes, Tara Shepard, and Christine Hall, along with the graduates that are here. We had asked you to stand as well. Thank you, you may be seated. That's pretty exciting stuff. Now, the COTC faculty play a crucial role in bringing the graduates to this important milestone. All of you know them, they have challenged you, they have supported you, they've challenged you again, and we want to take this moment to recognize them. May all the faculty of COTC please rise and be recognized. Thank you very much. Before we move on, I would like to recognize two faculty members in particular who are participating in their last commencement ceremony this evening. Our Police Academy Commander Jeff Seward is actually retiring after nine years of service and he can't even be with us here tonight because their last Academy day is today. Uh, so he's out actually wrapping all of that up, but we appreciate him mightily. And Mr. Randall Bishop is retiring from our computer technology program after four years of service. Randy, would you stand and be recognized? Thank you, sir. Another group of individuals who are very important to you as you move through the college experience is all of our staff here at COTC. Will all the college staff members please stand for recognition? Thank you. We also have a very special staff member who is participating in her last commencement ceremony this evening. Dr. Sandra Walker is retiring after nearly 20 years of service with Central Ohio Technical College. Dr. Walker has done an outstanding job as our Dean of Technical Studies and was recently appointed Staff Emeritus by the Board of Trustees. Dr. Walker, will you please stand and be recognized? So these people are very important to each and every one of you. They've helped you along your way, but we know who is probably most important to you and have supported you through this process. Will the family and friends of our graduates please stand for recognition? Thank you all, you may be seated. It is now my pleasure to bring Dr. Ferencheck back to the stage and the podium, and it's about time for the big reveal. Thank you, Dr. Berry. It is my pleasure this evening to recognize those students graduating with distinction. Students graduating with honors have earned an overall grade point average of 3.5 or higher out of a possible 4.0. The names of Students who have achieved this level of performance are identified in the commencement program. Also, Central Ohio Technical College honor graduates can be recognized by the gold tassels on their caps. Will all of our honor graduates please stand and be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. Members of Phi Theta Kappa, the International Honor Society of two-year colleges, maintained at least a 3.25 grade point average and are involved in numerous service projects on campus and in the community. Phi Theta Kappa students are wearing gold stoles. Will all of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society graduates please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, you may be seated. We also have graduates that are a member of the Alpha Delta Nu Nursing Honor Society, which recognizes the academic excellence of students in the study of associate degree nursing. 
Alpha Delta Nu students are wearing apricot cords. Will all of our Alpha Delta Nu nursing honors students graduate? Sorry, graduates, please stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Lambda Nu National Honor Society for Radiologic and Imaging Sciences recognizes exemplary scholarship of students in the study of radiologic sciences. Lambda Nu members are wearing green and maroon cords. Will all of our Lambda Nu Radiologic and Imaging Science Honor Society graduates please stand and be recognized. Congratulations, you may be seated. Graduates that began taking college courses at Central Ohio Technical College while in high school are identified by their green and white cords. Will all of our high school options and college credit plus students please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, you may be seated. Lastly, it is my privilege to recognize those students who are graduating as veterans or members of the United States military. Military veterans and active duty personnel are identified by red, white, and blue cords. We honor and appreciate you for serving our country. Please stand for recognition. Congratulations, you may be seated. Thank you. As I call your degree or certificate, please rise. Audience members, please hold your applause until all of the candidates have been recognized. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Applied Business in Business Management Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Business in Information Technology please stand? <laughs> you may be seated. <laughs> Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Diagnostic Medical Sonography Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Digital Media Design Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Early Childhood Education Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Applied Science in Engineering Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Fire Science Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Health Services Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Nursing Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of Applied Science in Radiologic Science Technology please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Associate of a Science please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the Human Resource One Year Certificate please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the Office Administration One Year Certificate please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the case management for healthcare and gerontology professionals please stand?
Will the candidates for the Behavioral and Mental Health Technician Certificate please stand? You may be seated. Will the candidates for the State Tested Nurse Aid Certificate please stand? Will all of the candidates please stand? Dr. Berry, I have the distinct honor to present and recommend on behalf of the faculty of Central Ohio Technical College, these candidates who have completed all of the requirements for the Associate of Applied Business, Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, one-year certificates, and short-term certificates. Thank you, Dr. Ferencheck. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we can give them a round of applause. <laughs> by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Central Ohio Technical College Board of Trustees and the State of Ohio, I can confer upon you the appropriate degrees and certificates with all the rights, privileges, and duties pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Let's give them one more round. You may now be seated. In recognition of the degrees and certificates just conferred, the diplomas will now be handed out. Maddox Basil Jean Curlis, with honors. Brittany Amber Combs, Brittany Amber Combs with honors. <laughs> Taylor Elise Woosley. Lauren Ashcraft, with honors. Brianna Gabrielle Othamant. Layla Sky Banky, with honors. Robert Orlando Brooks. Lydia Faith Burak, with honors. Kirsten Marie Cox, with honors. Ava Michelle Dominguez, with honors. Tyler Weston Estep, with honors. Elena Madison Farrell, with honors. Amberly Grace Fry, with honors. Thank you. 
Michaela May Jennings with honors. Katie Ray Johnson. Abigail Lane Kennedy with honors. Trenton Richard Long with honors. Ava Elizabeth Maddox with honors. Kyla Gail Moore with honors. Ian Artier Muka. Grace Marie Sipes with honors. Jasmine Leah Stroh Zuckerman with honors. Madison James White. Samson Gitachal Akilu. Caleb Michael Dennis with honors. Bailey James Goodrich with honors. Rihanna Jade Ferguson Palmer with honors. Naya Bell Stiltner with honors. Miriam Moose Hassan with honors. Gabrielle Paveo with honors. Fatumata Caldero Trawe. Cohen Anthony James Baker. Michael Lambert. Thomas James Heston. Alexander Salchuk. Cherie Luke. Megan Elizabeth Kohler. Abraham Aqua. Anab Aiden Ali.
Brittany Jade Arnold. Allison Rose Alberry. Diana Marie Christopher. Amanda Marie Coffey. Sabrina Ann Carino. Rihanna Davis. Edom Konu Epi. Kimberly Rosa Ehrman. Kelsey Jane Fate. Danielle Nicole Fink. Jessica Rose Gillio. Olivia Claire Griffith. Ajoa Han. Sky Rochelle Hedersheet with honors. Cameron Ireland Hillis. Jamila Ibrahim. Heather Lynn Kaiser Jackson with honors. Jason Steven Jackson. Beryl Chang Lemieux. Michelle Ann Leo. <laughs> Haley Christine Llewellyn with honors. <laughs> Jennifer May Long. Jordan Brianne Mokas. <laughs> Brian Kilovu Mwangi with honors. <laughs> Haley Marie Myers. Jordan Marie Myers. <laughs> Michaela Monet Newell.
Naima Ali Osman. Morgan Ashley Poor. Rebecca Trinity. Rebecca Trinity Price. <laughs> Stephanie Lynn Ross, with honors. Alyssa Snedden. <laughs> Rebecca Marie Sterrett. <laughs> Winda Ellen Stevenson. Paige Nicole Stoneburner. Kylie, Kylie Sullivan. <laughs> Kristen Troxel. Christopher Eric Walker. Blakely Anna Wolverton. Alexa Marlene Allspa. Kennedy Faith Knuckle. James David Robinson III. Jordan Danielle Wares. Doran D. Nacone. Caitlin Lorinda Dickinson, with honors. Johanneva Marie Naranjo, with honors. Sherry Lynn Mikesell, with honors. Nita Maria Edwards, with honors. Christina Shirlene Hammond. Olivia Levine Burns. Hope Leanne Irvin. Chelsea Grames. Darian Kiger. Alexis. 
Alexis Love. Tia Mayo. Kaylee May Schellenbarg, with honors. <laughs> Stephanie Straub, with honors. <laughs> Pauline Lafuente Brown, with honors. Alana K. Dawes. Sarah Elizabeth Foreman, with honors. Drew R. Harper, with honors. Alyssa Alexandria Hubbard. Grace A. Saxton, with honors. Jennifer Lee Williams, with honors. Beth Ann Yablonkai, with honors. Shania R. Ziegler, with honors. Rachel Diane Barrett. Chloe Marie Bell. Anna Maria Betancourt, with honors. Eliza K. Burkholder. Riley Nicole Broyles. <laughs> Trisha Davis Milhone, with honors. <laughs> Emily May Fraley. Katrina Marie Friesner. <laughs> Dylan James Hill. <laughs> Kylie M. Leemaster, with honors. Carson Elizabeth Lentz. Maggie Long. Kelly June Lonzo. Jordan Marie Torrio. Woo! 
Josephine Elizabeth Trivi. Samantha Jo Voorhees. Will all of the graduates please rise? In keeping with academic tradition, you may now transfer your tassel from right to left. This is a visible symbol that you are now a graduate of Central Ohio Technical College. Let's give them one heck of a round. Please be seated for one more moment. As the president of the college, I have both the right, the privilege, and the duty to have the last word for the evening. And I get the chance to speak directly to you as graduates, but this also somewhat goes to your family, friends, and loved ones who are here. So I'm going to leave you with what I call three quotes and a quiz. And I know you're very excited about one more quiz at COTC. Oh, I, I think I heard booze come from actually the audience of that one. But let me start with a quick quote, and hopefully this will make sense. We may live in an age of instant messaging, instant gratification, and Instagram, but there is no way to short circuit the path to success. How many of you worked very hard to get here tonight? Mm -hmm. How many of you sacrificed things that you might want to do elsewhere to be here tonight? How many have sacrificed time with family and friends? Yeah, I appreciate that. That's basically everyone in the audience. But I want you to understand something. You are building a lasting legacy for yourself, your family, and your community. You've endured a lot of long nights, missed activities, lost time with your friends and family, but this was purposeful, it was intentional, and it was significant on a return on that investment. Here's your quiz for the day. It's called a very special bank account. Imagine that you have a bank account that is deposited every day with $86,400. Every day you're getting that. The account carries with it no balance from day to day. It allows you to keep no cash outside of that. And every evening it cancels whenever part of that amount has been failed to use during that day. So you have it once every day, but you got to use it every time. What would you do? Would you draw out those dollars every day? How would you use it? Well, you all have such a bank right now, it's called time. Every morning, it credits you with 86,400 seconds. Every night, it writes off as lost. Whatever time you have failed to use is gone forever. It carries over no balance from day to day. It allows no overdrafts. And you can't borrow against yourself or use it more later. Each day, the account starts fresh and anew. How do you choose to invest your generous time, and your energy. You have proven that you can be successful by virtue of being here this evening. Now our challenge to you is to now be significant to yourselves, to your family, your friends, your loved ones, your communities. This is the legacy that awaits each and every one of you. you know, Maya Angelou said success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. That is what we challenge you as graduates of COTC to do, is to carry on the leg legacy, the tradition of excellence, the tradition of service to self and to others. You graduates of the class of 2023 are the legacy of COTC, 
of our faculty, of our staff. You are also the legacy of your family and friends who have supported you throughout this journey. My challenge to you is to carry forward, to prove what you've already proven to us, to be that level of success. The last person I'm going to quote you might find interesting is Beyonce. And Beyonce said, I dream it, I work hard, I grind till I own it. Ladies and gentlemen, you own it. And we are so very, very proud of each and every one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the 2023 commencement of Central Ohio Technical College. Please remain seated until the platform party and faculty members have recessed. And then finally, the graduates have exited the gymnasium. I now direct the recession to begin. Oh.